Greetings, family. Once again, Hotep. All right, again, I am Brother Bobby. I'm coming to you with another segment of our history. Today, we'll be dealing with the 40 acres and a mule. Uh, some of you that have been following me on Facebook, you've seen some of my posts. I made it very brief, but right now I'm going to go into depth about the 40 acres and a mule. First of all, we need to understand what this concept was about, what exactly was meant by constructing and writing this document that we call the 40 acres and a mule. Uh, when I was living in Portland, Oregon, I saw a professor, one of us, who said we never did receive our 40 acres in a mule. We actually received it twice. The first time it wasn't called 40 acres in a mule. It was called General Order Number 11. General David L. Hunter, who was a part of the Union military, he was down in the South, and he proclaimed that the land down there should be issued out to the you know, free slaves that were about to be emancipated. His name was, again, General David L. Hunter. Now, this information is found in this book right here, 100 Amazing Facts About the Negro with Complete Proof. And there are other uh, articles and uh, events in our history that is found inside of this book. This is just one of the places you can find that about General Order Number 11. You can also go online and you can Google and put in General Order Number 11, and you will be able to read the actual verbiage itself. Is very short. Well, what happened to it? Well, at the time, the president was President Abraham Lincoln. And I must uh, elaborate to you that Abraham Lincoln was just as much of a bigot as was Jefferson Davis. In American history, there's only been one time where there were two presidents sitting at the same time. You had Abraham Lincoln of the Union or the federal government, and you had Jefferson Davis, who was representing the Confederacy, and of course, his capital would be Richmond, Virginia. Initially, the capital of the Confederacy was Birmingham, Alabama, and it was moved up to Richmond, Virginia. And the capital for the federal government was Washington, D.C. So we have to understand this. So it was annulled by President Abraham Lincoln, taken away. He said that David L. Hunter was an honest and honorable man, but at the time he felt that that was not a good idea. So the three states in which were supposed to be land issued would be South Carolina, Georgia, and Florida. So once it was annulled, it was forgotten about. But then on January the 13th, 1865, General William Tecumseh Sherman and Secretary of War Edward Stanton would meet with 20 black ministers in Georgia, Savannah, Georgia to be exact. And they were talking about what exactly was going to happen to the newly about to be freed man. They came back January 16th, 1865, what was known as Special Field Order Number 15, the 40 acres and a mule. Now understand something. When you read the verbiage of this document, you will not read anything in there about the mule. Why? Because it wasn't in writing. It was something that was loaned to our former ancestors. So what happened to Special Field Order Number 15, which would later become Senate Bill Number 19, which Thaddeus Stevens was trying to propose and push through the Congress? It also was annulled. By who? President Andrew Johnson. Now understand something. President Abraham Lincoln, once again, was a bigot. He was just as racist as Jefferson Davis. Can it be proven? Yes, it can. There are many sources that tell you about this. As a matter of fact, Abraham Lincoln was known just as well as Jefferson Davis to go around daily and call our ancestors a nigger. Well documented. So, once again, we would lose something else that we had gained. So, with the assassination of Lincoln, Andrew Johnson would annul Special Field Order Number 15, and once again, we were without something, which was land. I actually know of one person whose family still have the land that they have received from the 40 acres in the mule. So that concludes this very brief uh, historical moment. If you are looking for someone to lecture concerning our history, the unedited version, I am available. I can be reached at shalomo1 at yahoo.com and that is S-H-O-L-O-M-H-O-1 at yahoo.com. Again, that is S-H-O-L-O-M-H-O-1 at yahoo.com. I am available for speaking engagements. Again, 
Thank you for listening. Pass this information on. Share it. Like it. And hotel. Thank you.